example, now, previously what we looked at was cube numbers, right? And these should be ones that you guys are very familiar with. You should know your squared numbers, right? 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. By doing all this practice, you should start being familiar. Hey, this is a square number, but guess what? It's also a cube number, right? Both. These are all examples of cube numbers. But now we're dealing with an index of 4. So now we want to look at numbers that we can raise to the fourth power. So we don't need to worry about these numbers. Let's start working at the fourth root, or the fourth power, right? which I already wrote over there. So 2 to the fourth power is 16. 3 to the fourth power is 81, but they're not in the realm of the video. And 4 to the fourth power is 256. Now, I could keep on going up, but do I notice that there's, I'm, already, I'm already larger than all the other numbers, right? So I don't really need to go up any higher. So we want to see, can I rewrite any of these as a number to the fourth power? Are any of these um, are uh, fourth power numbers, quartic numbers, numbers you can raise to fourth power? No. So the next thing you do is say, can you rewrite them as a product of one of these? So does 16 divide into 48? Yes. Does, and obviously, 81 doesn't because 81 is larger. So how many times does it go in there? Three times. Hmm, interesting. Okay, plus 3 times the fourth root of, now we always start with the largest number. So 256 is obviously greater than 240, 243, so we're not going to do that one. So then we go to 81. Does 81 divide into 243? How many times? Three. So what's nice about these types of problems is this is a, a, um, a quartic number, right? We can raise this number to the fourth power. It's 2 to the fourth power times 3 plus 3 fourth power of 3 to the fourth power times 3. So using our identity element, Kyle, 4, fourth root of 2 to the fourth power is what? 2 comes out of the radical. This 3 has to remain there. Plus, fourth root of 3 to the fourth power is 3. So therefore, I have 4 fourth root of 3 plus 9 fourth root of 3. So now what you guys can see is that my index, which is the fourth root, and my radicand, which is 3, is exactly the same. So therefore, I can just treat them just like variables. right? You're going to add your coefficients and then keep the, the variable the same. You're going to add your coefficients and keep the radical the same. So 4 fourth root of 3 plus 9 fourth root of 3 is just going to be 13 fourth root of 3. Really wasn't that bad, was it? No, you just got to keep on practicing, getting through things. But the main important thing, guys, is you're very familiar with